Mr. President, distinguished delegates, I wish to align my statement on behalf of the Czech Republic with the statement of the European Union delivered this morning. Road safety is a major societal issue worldwide which must be addressed seriously. From the European point of view, the number of road fatalities decreased from 31,500 cases in 2010 to 25,300 road deaths uh, in the last year, which was achieved thanks also to the legislative measures adopted at the European level. Nevertheless, the number of people killed in traffic accidents is still too high. One of the legislative measures that has a potential to save around 2,500 lives on European roads every year is a deployment of the public emergency call system, the so-called e-call. In case of serious traffic accident, the system automatically dials the European emergency number 112 and calls the rescue service. This will significantly reduce the arrival time of rescue services up to half in rural areas and by 40% in cities. In this context, let me mention that as a Czech member of the European Parliament, I have been working on this legislation as the main reporter in the European Parliament. Together with the EU member states, the European Parliament has adopted this important regulation in 2015, and it finally came into force just at the beginning of this month. The system will be now installed in all new models of cars and light commercial vehicles that fulfill the conditions to operate within the EU. Mr. President, an important role in the e-call system is also played by the Galileo Navigation System, which is operated by the European Global Navigation Satellite System Agency based in Prague in the Czech Republic. The Czech Republic has also actively participated in the development and testing of e-call and was among the biggest supporters of its implementation. Although deployment of the e-call system was an important achievement, we need to continue with our efforts in different areas to decrease not only the number of road fatalities, but also the number of injured and seriously injured victims of the road accidents. The European Commission furthermore committed itself to publish another legislative instruments in order to improve pedestrian protection, vehicle safety, as well as safety of road infrastructure. This is likely to happen in the coming weeks. Mr. President, despite all the legislative measures and developments in road safety, too many people die or are seriously injured on roads in the world every day. We have to continue in our efforts. That is why we consider it really important to set a similar strategic goal for the coming decade as we have now, to have the number of road deaths and serious injuries by 2030 compared to 2020 level. A call for setting such goal has been already highlighted in a global challenge called Manifesto for Road Safety, issued by the Global Network for Road Safety Legislators, and I am very honored to speak here as a member of this network. The Manifesto for Road Safety calls on members of all parliaments worldwide to take measures to substantially reduce the number of road deaths, and I would like to bring it into your attention and encourage you to adopt the proposed measures. We also very much welcome the proposed UN Trust Fund for Road Safety. We believe that it could contribute to achieving the strategic goal of reducing the number of road accidents and could serve as an effective measure to finance the important projects that will help to improve road safety all around the globe. Mr. President, we would like to urge each of us to strengthen our efforts to reduce the number of road accidents with victims worldwide. The measures must be more intense and targeted and they must also effectively enforce the existing rules aimed at combating the most risky behavior on the roads. Indeed, our roads can be safer. Thank you for your attention.